just with darker blue, which is cobalt, I divided the horizon from the sea. So this is the line. Try to be so flat and clear. I divide it. And then start from this color, which is darker, to apply on the horizon line and then move forward to the top. So it's okay if it's really dark because I use heavy paint, really heavy paint to give it time to draw a little bit, not so fast. And then at the same time, I can take the blue color, which is lighter and bring it on top of that and let it blend to the darker blue because I want to have smooth surface for sky and I really bring the light blue into the darker blue. So it helped me, you see very well, they blend together and give us a nice blue color because the sky is not much dark. We need to let it be light. Then move on with the light blue, bring it higher and higher to Take the pure white color with your small brush, put in your uh, canvas and just shape circularly, like making the cloud shape like that. I just play with the whole, the brush and sometimes use the tip of my brush 
to shade the cloud like this and use the tip to make it liney at the end like that even the bottom part it's still really sharp you see the white color really sharp is on top so i have napkin in my hand clean the brush by napkin just a drop of water bring it into the palette control it by napkin and just try to touch this edge under the cloud and then clean it by napkin the water can help the paint move to the background and disappear and fade so that's a good option to help the cloud be more look like the reality green with dark blue as a darkness and distance and mix a little green with this light blue for the lightness so take some blue dark one mix with the green make sure the blue be more than green because it's water so this is good for the darker tone i keep it aside 
Then I take lighter blue, mix with the green. Again, blue should be more than green. But this green color helped the colors of C move toward tur turquoise color, which is so interesting. Uh, canvas, just shape the C like that. We want to have this triangle shape. So draw one angle line here in an angle. This is like a long triangle shape. So we need to take this darker tone on the stance, adding here on the stance where there is so dark. So take your darker green, bluey green, then clean your brush by napkin, then move on with the lighter green or turquoise green, and then help it move into the darkness and blend together. The edge in between the set here, it's the C, it's not really straight line. So we can bring it a little come inside, out like that make it more look like the real water when it comes forward to the sand like that but make sure to disappear the line in between even you can go on back and repeat dark color on top bring it close to the lighter tone or vice versa bring the lighter tone and help it move to the background which is darker like this I just try to use these two color, make the smooth surface, not, not, so even if it's wet, you can bring your wave on top of it. After you finish with this part, just with the pure white color, take some pure white color on the tip of your brush. It depends if you go with the size, small size is sometimes easier, but if you go with the flat and bigger size, just the tip of brush, need to be pointy. We don't use whole the hair off brush, we just use the tip. So, and draw a very narrow line, less on the stance, more in front, just like that, like a broken line on top of your water. We want to show as a wave, but it's way, uh, the wave is not really straight, just zigzaggy line and try to let it be like a broken line. A little on distance, it's okay to bring, but not much. Better to have more in front. That helps to shape the wave and uh, look be look like the water. These are about to hold this wave on into the water, but we have the bigger one exactly on the edge when it touched the sand in front. And then after we finish that, exactly on the edge between the sand and the water, we want to show that the water come up like that so we need to have the pure white color here just take some pure white color now i want to shape like this just play with the stroke like that the paint is still wet would be great in some case they mix together which is lovely or even if it's not mixed together, just a pure white color, which it's okay too. To shape the wave a little bit more. I'm not bringing to the to the end of uh, the right side, just let it disappear. More here on the left side, I make it a little bit bigger. And then a narrow line. Please add white color, add the brown color. And then take a lots of white, bring it to the center. We want to make the creamy color. Take a little brown as well, mix them together. You reach the creamy color of sand like that. So we already need the pure white color and we need the pure brown as well. But this is a good color to cover all this background of the sand. So please use the bigger size of brush which is easy to cover the big part of the surface and take heavy paint to cover the white of canvas easily. If your color is a little look dark, you can uh, bring the white color in between at, uh, on top of it and then let them move together. 
But when you're close to the water, be really accurate and gently with the tip of brush, touch the surface of the water close to that. I don't want to move into the wave that's already made.
So it's not just like this. One part comes down like this part. And then one, two, three. I, I want just shape this part. So after this curvy shape as an umbrella we make, then bring a straight line here, then connect like a line, first of all, these two parts together. And then after we add the tone on top, it's more easy to separate them from each other. I just go with the blue to color it. It doesn't show perfect because still in dark color, we add with the dark blue drawing. Please finish with the dark blue first. And then after we add more color on top, it shows more. I just think to fix the shape a little more, make it more pointy on this part. Yeah, that's better. After with the blue we finish, we can bring the green color. So close to that, I will bring the green, but two of them is too, is too dark. I take a little white to mix with the green to make it just a little bit lighter. It's, it's more visible when I want to show the separation line in between. Just as a C curve, connect this together. like that. For the bottom part, we change like this straight. Then you can use another brush or clean your brush very well because close to the green is the yellow one. But you know when you use yellow on top of the dark color, it's not sit on top. We can I can show you. When I bring the yellow on top of this dark color, all the dark color is visible under the yellow. And the reason is because yellow is transparent color. The rest is opaque, so they can cover it. But the yellow is transparent. We can make it opaque by mixing a little white into the yellow. So take yellow here, mix it with the white color a little bit. This white color help the yellow move to opaque and then easily you can bring it on top and cover anything that you see under it. Close to yellow is orange. We don't need to have all the colors. We can mix some colors and make the new one. We already have red and yellow. So this yellow, which is mixed with the white, we can mix a little bit um, red with that. Just a little red, tiny bit, because red is so strong. I recommend very less red, more yellow, mix together and make the orange.
for the ball, we can go with the blue color or any any color you can choose. I choose the dark blue and shape the circle here as the size of the ball. Just draw the circle here. And even I can fix the shape anytime. This is the ball that I want to have. Now for this one, I, I try to separate each color and then move on to fill inside to give you both different technique. So first of all, I try to fix this circular shape of ball. And after I feel more happy with that, Okay, I think it's fine. Then I draw another small circle here. This ball has some circle here, like orange. So after that, one C curve line draw here. One C curve here and put this part for the orange. Connect with the C curve line because the ball is curvy and any line you want to draw on top should be like a liney. Uh, should be the line should be curvy. So draw each part by the curvy line. Connect it to the small ball circle on the center. And then here. So if you imagine this is the ball, I add all this line, connect to this small circle on top.
directly the dark color of brown here under the ball and make it look like the shadow under it. But I prefer to make the watery brush stroke. So bring some water on top and make it a little loose and light and watery. So it's more lovely to uh, make the light color. It helps disappear some part into the background, even when you use the finger and help it disappear like that. That's so cool because you make the shadow and you make the lighter tone as well, like this on top of the sand. Or even we can bring some white color and mix with the brown at the same time. For this part, I recommend to use water on top of your paint, not just the pure paint, even for the lighter tone. And then let it disappear. The finger can make a lots of nice texture. It's so helpful. If, we, if you're okay, you can use it and shape it look like a beautiful sand on your uh, painting like that. Just bring water into the dark and light paint you already have. Randomly add some shadow under the under the ball. And a little bit here. Just a bit. I just make it dark. And not to be worried because I can bring the lighter color on top and even use the finger to shape it interesting. And help it more look like a real sand. <laughs> 